This video is going to look at finding maximum and minimum points on curves. So it's going to answer questions such as this one. A curve has equation y equals x squared minus 8x plus 3. Find an expression for dy by dx. Hence find the value of x where dy by dx equals 0. Hence find the coordinates of the turning point. Before I start working through the question, I will explain what turning points and maximum and minimum points are. Now, turning points are where the curve turns. And a curve can turn in two ways. A curve can turn like that, and a curve can turn like that. This one, for obvious reasons, is called a maximum point, and this one is called a minimum point. The thing they both have in common is that where they turn, then the gradient of the curve at the point where they turn, which is the gradient of that horizontal line, is zero. So the turning points are where dy by dx equals zero. So looking at the question above, find the an expression for dy by dx. So the equation of our curve is y equals x squared minus 8x plus 3. Differentiate dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 8. And the process of differentiating is explained in other videos. The second part Find the value of x where dy by dx is naught. The value of dy by dx being naught means that 2x minus 8 equals naught. So nice easy equation to solve. 2x equals 8, x equals 4. Hence find the coordinates of the turning point. So the turning points are where dy by dx equals naught. We know the x coordinate is 4. So to find the y coordinate, we put that value of x back into the equation of the curve. So y is 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 3. y is 16 minus 32 plus 3, which is minus 13. So the coordinates of the turning point are x is 4, y is minus 13. Let's have a look at another question. The equation of a curve is y equals 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus 24x. Find dy by dx and find the coordinates of the turning points. So the first part of the question, finding dy by dx, is standard differentiating. So writing out the equation of the curve again, y equals 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus 24x. Differentiate this to give dy by dx. 3 2 is a 6x squared plus 15 times 2 is 30x plus 24. Part 2, find the coordinates of the turning points. Now in this question, you have to know that the turning points are where dy by dx equals 0. So we have an expression for dy by dx, 6x squared plus 30x plus 24 equals 0. We're going to have to solve this. It will factorise into two brackets, but before I do that, I notice that everything has a factor of 6. So I will take 6 outside the bracket, give me x squared plus 5x plus 4 equals 0. If I divide both sides by 6, that goes, and 0 divided by 6 is just 0. So we're just solving x squared plus 5x plus 4 is 0. This will go into two brackets, x plus 1 and x plus 4 equals 0. So we either have x plus 1 equals 0, in which case x is minus 1, or x plus 4 is 0, in which case x is minus 4. So we have the x coordinates, the turning points. To find the y coordinates, we put each value in turn into the equation of the curve, which is 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus 24x. So 
when x equals minus 1, we have y is 2 times minus 1 cubed plus 15 times minus 1 squared plus 24 times minus 1, which is minus 2 plus 15 minus 24, which is minus 11. Similarly, put x equals minus 4 into the equation of the curve and we get y is equal to 2 times minus 4 cubed plus 15 times minus 4 squared plus 24 times minus 4. And when we work that out, we get y is equal to 16. So our two turning points are minus 1, minus 11, and minus 4, 16.